have with only 11 days until Stampede, Joker and Trick Roper, Bud Edgar is joining us now with a little lesson in Stampede history. First of all, Bud, what exactly are you doing with that rope? This is the lost cowboy art of Trick Roping. And uh, it's a dying art form that was started a long time ago, originally by the Mexicans and then was very famous in the United States by Will Rogers. And of course, Guy Wiedek, who started the Calgary Stampede, was a trick roper, and his wife, Flores Ledoux, was also a trick roper, way better than him. She so, was amazing. trick roping, is that for just strictly entertainment purposes, or is that for actually getting in the rodeo and working with the animals? Well, it started in Mexico. The Mexicans started it, and they used to do a lot of fancy tricks before they roped a cow or a calf. Okay. And that's how that developed. But it's it's a vaudeville act. It's an old show show act, and i got to take my tie. Look at me. <laughs> anyway, ha-ha. <laughs> uh -huh. I there can see go. myself. Anyway, so that's the butterfly. I'll just explain that. Okay. And that's not as hard as it looks. It's harder. Yeah, I bet. That's, it takes a lot of time to learn that trick, and I work at it. And then you do, there's all kinds of things, and they do flat loops like this, you see. Whoa. And it gets bigger and bigger. It's just the speed of the rope. And then I can, I can even jump in there if you want me to. Yes. Do it. Do it. Do it, bud. Do it. Like that. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Thank you, a standing, a standing ovation, I appreciate that. <laughs> yes. This is called the wedding ring, and it's the most, one of the most famous tricks they do, and there's a lot of things here, like the handshake, oh, and then okay. showing off like that. Look at you. Like that, and then you go back to the wedding ring, and I'll just juggle this off if I can here. Go like this and juggle it. Ta -da. Well done, bud. Thank you. So how you. did you even get into this? Well, a long time ago, I got a, I was into circus arts, like juggling, etc. And I got a book, and they had a little bit of roping in the book. And I thought, that would be neat, because my dad was a cowboy. And, and, you know, I thought the Calgary Stampede, they had a trick roper, and I was trying to develop a little cowboy show. So mm -hmm. I, I learned from that book. Then I found another book at the library, and libraries have some books on this. And um, it take, I worked at it. Takes a lot of work. I was fortunate enough, there were two ropers in Calgary at the time, they're both gone now, and I got to work with them a bit. Okay, we're gonna get you to juggle in just a minute. Before then though, let's talk about Guy Wiedek. Yeah, he was amazing. He, was, uh, he wasn't he was a real cowboy, but he was born in Rochester, New York, and wanted to be a cowboy, so there you are. Uh, and he came to, the Calgary stamp, came to the Calgary and approached him about putting on a stampede, and him and his wife were both trick ropers. And they worked in vaudeville and with the 101 ranch, et cetera. And um, they approached uh, the stampede about having a stampede, and, or the, the, the board, Pat Burns, George Lane, and A.E. Cross, and uh, it's at McLean, um, about putting on the stampede. And they, they got a whole thing together back in 1912, right? Wow. And it all started there. And he was with the Stampede Board for a long time. His wife and him, and she was an amazing trick roper. She invented a famous trick called the Texas Skip. And I performed that trick on a good day where you <laughs> jump through the loop. She invented that trick. And uh, the, she won the world championship three times in a row. And she won at the Stampede, yeah. Very impressive. All right, let's switch gears here. You brought some spurs that we're going to juggle. I've got some spurs here. And... Uh, they are the spurs that These jingle, real jangle, spurs. and juggle. Did you want to try them? Or? Uh, you know, I'm going to let you handle this well, one, Well, would bud. you like me to juggle them? Because <laughs> if you would, I could wear Let's hold these if you don't mind. Okay. I'll do it wearing the blindfold. Would that be oh. fun? Oh. Are you sure? Okay, come on. There. Okay, yeah, put, Thank you, you. put it on. Thank there you. There we go. <laughs> well, no, if I put it on my eyes, I wouldn't be able to see, right? <laughs> let's, uh, don't try to stop me. Don't try to stop me. Come on. Oh. Uh. Uh. I've only got the one trick. Are you ready? Yep. That's it. Wow, one leg. Well, if I want to stop, I can go like that. Ta da! Very impressive. Well, thank you very much. Okay, Sandra. tell us about your shows coming up. You've been doing shows for years and years, and well, this year is no exception. The most important thing for me is to be back at Heritage Park for the seventh year in a row this Canada Day. I'm going to be there uh, doing three shows. But even cooler than that, just recently, I booked the Guy Weedy School. He was a trick roper, right? Yeah. And they have a school in Calgary named after him. I'm performing there this Thursday for the first time awesome. to do my show. It's comedy as much as more than trick roping. And I, Stampede Week, I'm very busy. I got a lot of private events. But I'm doing an event for the Dreams Take Flight. They're the Air Canada, mm -hmm. people that fly all the handicapped kids and all the special needs kids to uh, Disneyland. I've been involved with that charity for many years, and I'm doing an event for them on Saturday the 5th 
Sunday awesome. the 5th, the 5th of July. That's a public event. You can buy tickets for it, help sponsor them. And uh, we got a lot of stuff going on. You do indeed. The best place to go to find out about all of it in the dates and times, buddy.ca. Thank you so much. Have My a wonderful pleasure. stampede. I will. Yeehaw!